thanks for checking out our channel today. What we're going to be looking at is a 2018 Chevy Suburban 3500 HD that we've built for the Rockland Paramedics out of New York. Taking a look in the front, we've got four sound off signal M powers on the sound off signal bracket. These are in dual color configuration with flashing white in drive. The vehicle is currently in park. We also have a headlight flasher installed in the vehicle. That also shuts off with park. <clears throat> on the front side of the bumper, we have sound off signal M powers in dual color configuration. These also have white in them. <clears throat> the white flashing goes on in drive and then it also operates as a scene function with the left or right alley. <clears throat> Taking a look at the side of the vehicle, you can see we have sound off signal 4 inch M powers on the running board in dual color and then we also have sound off signal M powers on the rear bumper. <clears throat> bar on this vehicle is a sound off signal 54 inch enforce this has a 3m led traffic emitter you can also see on the rear side of the bumper we've installed a kuzma auto eject this is wired to an inverter that allows them to have power when the vehicle is running it also has a built-in transfer switch that allows the heater that's installed in the vehicle to heat the vehicle in cold weather Taking a look at the back of the vehicle, up top we have an eight module sound off signal M power bracket. This has the white scene function. It has amber override for arrow, and then it has flashing red and blue. In the rear turn signals, we have hideaway LEDs replacing the reverse lamps, along with flashing the parking lights via the blueprint system. On the rear lower bumper, we have sound off signal M powers in tricolor with the white override feature that come on when the hatch is open the vehicle is put in reverse before they hit the rear scene. On the rear license plate, we have dual stack N-Forces in tricolor. These are in a red, amber, white, or blue, amber, white configuration with the white scene override. With the hatch of the vehicle open, you can see we have three inch M-Powers in dual color. On the rear hatch, we have sound off signal strip lights installed. What you'll notice with the cabinet is this is our paramedic style cabinet. It's got storage for backboards, and then it also has a storage drawer for restocking. So this restocking drawer has a work surface for them to work on, and then it also lifts up and allows them for, to have storage of additional meds and whatnot underneath it. What you'll notice on all the section of the cabinet is we've cut with the CNC vent holes to allow airflow to move throughout the cabin when the rear air conditioning or rear heating is on to help prevent, <clears throat> help prevent dead pockets of air inside of it. On the passenger side of the vehicle, you can see we've removed the larger section of the seat to give them additional storage. Up top, you can see we've installed a heater that's wired to the inverter transfer switch. <clears throat> they have access to all their equipment from the rear from flipping down the seats. We've installed this compartment here with an adjustable shelf and then we have a custom little bracket for their flare holder to hold that in place and then we have an extinguisher installed on the back side of the storage compartment. Taking a look at the center console of the vehicle, this is one of our custom flat series console. We've installed their radio, the blueprint controller, a cup holder, a small little pocket, and then a large binder storage. We've installed their speaker to the side of the console to keep it out of the way for them. And we've installed a dome light to the vehicle also 